night we were watching the news and Ted Koppel comes on and said, 60 tourists had just been gunned down by terrorists in Cairo. And Denise said, we gotta go. <laughs> won't be crowded. <laughs> it's this way of looking at things has its advantages. I was determined to go to Libya. Uh, I had to go through Canada. I had to go to a Canadian company to, uh, to get such a tour. And uh, Mike's family was really worried about our safety. But we got there and everyone was really very nice. And we got to see the most perfect ancient Roman cities anywhere in the world and there were no tourists there, <laughs> and there were not even any guards there. Um, so I, I, I would, we went to Leptis Magna, it was the most perfect Roman city, and I said, this is the greatest day of my life, other than the day I got married. <laughs> I said it was better than that. And, uh, <laughs> it, it was, I mean, these were really the, the most impressive collection of old ruins since well, you people, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, we, so we survived Libya, so next she booked a trip to Iran, right? <laughs> and people are always asking, how did you get into Iran? And the fact is, it's easy to get into Iran, it's just nobody wants to go there. It's, it's like Tufts. And, uh, <laughs> to death. And the first day we were there, the tour guide says to me, what do you do for a living? Now, I, how do you explain writing for The Simpsons to someone who's never left Tehran, right? I mean, do, do they even have cartoons there? And I said to the guy, I write for this TV show called The Simpsons. And he said to me, I swear, he said, you know, I really like the early seasons. <laughs> me to Iran in 1972 when the Shah was in power. We loved the country. I was eager to return. But Mike's brother said to him, Mike, they're going to cut your head off. So when we landed in Tehran, Mike was puzzled at my elation to be there. <laughs> so you can see Denise, my blonde, beautiful wife, Denise, drags me to all the great Jew-hating countries. <laughs> people in Egypt than in Elliot House. <laughs> One day we got an email talking about travel opportunities to North Korea. <laughs> I deleted the email before Denise woke up. <laughs> but Harvard sent another copy. <laughs> and North Korea opens its doors uh, uh, to Americans only during the time of the mass games which is this huge, the most thrilling human spectacle. Thousands of people, lots and, lots and lots of kids get together and they move synchronously for two hours. It's their version of the uh, Olympics. It's non-competitive sports. Uh, and it, 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 well, I did, the, on the other hand, though, I was worried because I know that they kidnap writers to prop up their movie business. <laughs> so on the visa application, I, I put down that, uh, I, I think you were a publicist, or I, I made something up. And uh, it turns out that their North Korean agents in Beijing Googled him, because they don't have the internet in North Korea. Uh, and so they had two minders on top of us the whole time. And at night they kept us on an island where we could really <laughs> go out and meld in with the people. Because we fit right in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that completely
completed our Axis of Evil tour. <laughs> Harvard experience, I actually learned something from this. Uh, what I learned is people are not their government. You know, Iran, North Korea, they have crazy, stupid presidents, but that doesn't mean they're crazy and stupid. And it's, it's something we have to remember next time we have a crazy, stupid <laughs> You know, like George Bush or Larry Summers. Um, <laughs> We were robbed in Rio twice, within five hours of landing, and in Honduras we were abducted. Now, it's true, but luckily for us, the, the kidnappers in Honduras are as bad at their jobs as everybody else. And so, our, our driver drove us into the jungle and said he would, he would throw us out into the jungle unless we gave $100, and we said no, and then he lowered it to $12. <laughs> We had prepaid for lunch, and he kept the money, and we didn't get to eat. <laughs> I'm 52 years old, and a bully stole my lunch money. Anyway, I have lots more trips planned that Mike doesn't want to take. Uh, <laughs> Afghanistan, Pakistan, and you can take tours of Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard Hawaii is really nice. <laughs>